Hi, I'm Rob Karen, and I'm really excited to introduce Karen Engineering's new version of TMAC, version 3.0. Our TMAC system, which stands for Tool Monitoring Adaptive Control, has been out in the industry for almost 30 years. This system has been using a high-speed data processing unit, high-precision sensors, to monitor the health of tools and of the machine tool itself. We monitor things like vibration, power, and strain to look at the integrity of tools that are cutting. The first noticeable difference of TMAC 3.0 is that it's a browser-based user interface. Every TMAC processor has a web server built in, so any device that can connect to it via network can view and edit any part of the system through their web browser. As an example, here's a PC with a web browser on it showing the TMAC data. I also have an iPhone connected to the same TMAC system showing the same data. So basically, any device that has a web browser on it and can be connected to the TMAC system can allow the user to edit, view, and import and export the data. Another really interesting feature of TMAC 3.0 is the ability now to monitor multiple sensors simultaneously. We have sensors for monitoring power, vibration, strain, but also coolant flow, coolant pressure, spindle RPM. We can monitor things like temperature. Um, we're looking at other technologies as well. With TMAC 3.0, we can look at any of these sensors simultaneously and set limits for each one of those sensors. This really advances the capability of monitoring all of your machine tool functions in real time. You can actually change the views of what channels you look at. Here we're looking at the power channel of a small tool cutting. We can then switch over to vibration and look at the vibration of that tool cutting. Or we can have our own view which looks at both channels simultaneously. So now we're going to see TMAC 3.0 in action. We're actually going to cut apart and see how TMAC 3.0 looks in a real cutting environment. I'll try to highlight some of the key features of TMAC 3.0 as it goes along. Okay, so the first tool we're going to look at is a small one millimeter drill drilling in aluminum. We're going to be able to see the sensitivity of TMAC monitoring this very small drill. Uh, you can actually see the steps of the one millimeter drill. It's going to drill three holes in the material. This would be typically impossible to monitor on most systems on a 25 horsepower spindle motor. The next tool we're going to look at is a really bit larger drill um, and we're going to demonstrate the ability to monitor the work of the tool, the area under the curve. As the tool starts cutting, you can actually see the shading of the area under the curve where it's showing the blue, which is an undercut. Once satisfied, it hits green, which is now an OK cut. And this particular tool generated a wear limit where it actually started shading in yellow. That means the tool is worn and will be replaced on the next instant. Now we're going to show tapping, where we're using a technique called time slicing. Here, we're looking at the gray area is all the reversals of the spindle and are ignored. The black area is when we're actually monitoring the cutting of the tap. It's only in its forward motion that we monitor. This is very easy to set up in TMAC 3.0 and the cuts can now be labeled so we know when we're cutting and when we're not cutting. The next tool we're going to show adaptive control. Here we have a target power the system is trying to achieve and TMAC will take over the feed rate and automatically modify the feed rate to maintain that constant power. The dotted green line is what it's trying to achieve. As the power gets above the green line, the feed rate is reduced. When it goes below the green line, the feed rate is increased. This will continually go over time. As you can see by this view, we're actually monitoring power and vibration simultaneously. This allows us to look at the health of vibration of the tool while the tool is doing adaptive cutting, giving us some more advanced analysis of what's happening with this tool in the cut. Using adaptive control with TMAC 3.0, our customers are saving between 20 and 60 percent. The tougher the material, the more cycle time savings is available to them. The next thing we're going to demonstrate is our in-machine bearing analysis. During the bearing analysis, we run the spindle at high RPM for five seconds. 
we're measuring the vibration signal of the spindle bearings in real time. Once the five seconds of recording is done, we do an analysis on that signal and it provides us with the spindle health. The acceleration shows us the health of this spindle. Anything in the green, which is a number below 1.0 in our calculation, is a healthy spindle. As the spindle starts to degrade, it'll approach into the yellow and eventually into the red, indicating that spindle failure is imminent. Another great feature of TMAC 3.0 is the advanced viewing system. The viewer, which is a browser-based viewer, obviously again from any device you can look at these data files, allows you to look at data and also multiple channels simultaneously. As you can see on the screen, I can pull up any sensor that was involved in this particular cutting process. The other nice part is the details screen. Anywhere I click in the screen and any sensor that I'm looking at, I have a lot of information about what's going on, including the axis position. I can tell exactly where the machine was at that point in time or at any point in time that I select. I can also zoom in and look at small pieces of the features. The database and all data is now stored on the TMAC processor. So that's why the browser-based interface is not required to do any data storage. Everything's inside of TMAC now. All of the data in the TMAC system can be managed as, as to how much data you're recording, how long you record it for, and what type of data you actually want to look at. An incredibly useful feature of TMAC 3.0 is the ability to create user profiles. Now that everybody can access the system through a browser from different devices, the system needs the ability to allow or disallow information to be edited, changed, or viewed. So every user can have a profile in the system. When the user logs in with their name and password, their profile will automatically be pulled up and that's what the system will use for limitations. As an example, this user here has full access to the system. By checking and unchecking boxes, I can disallow access to those functions. Once saved, that's what that user has for access. And this can be done for every user in the system and a limited number of users. In TMAC 3.0, diagnostics is incredibly simple. We've got standard screens that come up to show all the channel status of any sensor that's connected to the system. And then the machine connection dealing with inputs and outputs is also really easy. It's a very easy to view screen. The other really unique thing about TMAC 3.0 is the diagnostic screens are all available while the system's running at any time. System upgrades for TMAC 3.0 are really easy. The user just downloads a Windows executable file to any PC that has network access to the TMAC 3.0 system. Once there, the upgrade icon will show. The user clicks on the icon and basically clicks the update button. After confirming, the update happens, the TMAC system restarts itself, and that's it. The system is now upgraded with the latest version, the latest features of TMAC. If you want to achieve the highest levels of smart manufacturing, then you'll be really excited about the new features TMAC 3.0 has to offer. The new framework of TMAC 3.0 allows us to easily modify and enhance the user interface, adapt to CNC control technology as it becomes available, and integrate new sensing technology available today and in the future.